you one welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by so the wedding season is in full swing and i decided to create a bridal look for you guys and this is the first ever bridal look in my channel so yeah i created this bridal look this is a south asian or indian bridal look and if you want to know how i created this look then please keep on watching First I'm taking this elf eyebrow pencil in the shade deep brown and I'm just lining the borders and then I'll be filling it up using smaller strokes. Whenever you are doing a bridal makeup make sure that your brows are filled in and they are bold because in marriage there will be flash photography and in flash photography your eyebrows look really lighter than usual. So if it is filled in pretty nicely then your brows will look perfect even in flash photography now i'm just combing my brows so that the product is well distributed and there is no patchiness Now I'm taking this Make Me Brow by Essence in the shade Brownie Brows and I'm just setting my brows so that they are put together and they are intact all day long. You can use your regular hair setting spray as well for this. Now I'm using this Elegal Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige and I'm just cleaning up the borders so that my brows look sharp and defined. I'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids and it will act as an eyeshadow base that is coming up next. Now I'm just blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge. This is my Real Techniques beauty sponge. I'm setting my eyelids using this Varathan Dory's loose powder in the shade 07. Now I'm taking this bright pink shade called 21 and with this elf highlighting brush I'm just applying it on my crease and this is Makeup Revolution Soft X Extra Spice Palette. I want my crease to look like crispy and bright so i'm just intensifying the color and i think i had to go back like three times to get this intensity now i'm taking this magenta pink shade called mule wine from the same palette and with this pencil brush i'm just repeating the same thing i'm first applying it on my outer corner then inner corner and then i'm just connecting it through my crease now I'm taking this brown shade called enchanted and with the same pencil brush I'm just repeating the same process again I'm taking this dark brown color called brownies and again with the same pencil brush I'm just intensifying my outer corners and inner corners as well as the crease. Now I'm just cutting my crease and sort of creating a hello cut crease look and I have hooded eyes that's why I'm placing the concealer a little higher than usual so that it it can create a false crease you know now I'm just blending out the edges with my finger first this way the blending will be easier later on now 
Now I'm taking this bright pink color called 21 and I'm just applying it between the concealer and the brown shade so that there is a smooth gradation. Now I'm taking this beautiful golden yellow color called Elesan and I'm just placing it next to the pink color and for that I'm using a smaller shading brush. I'm taking this beautiful silver color called infinity and I'm just applying it on my lids I mean on the center of my lids don't worry if it is looking too silvery right now because we are going to use glitter and after using glitter it will all be good now I'm applying the shade called brownies on my crease again to make the look even prominent and I'm using this black eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just intensifying my outer corners and my inner corners and also I'm applying it on my crease and I'm taking this golden glitter called desert dazzles by Revlon and I'm just applying it over the silver eyeshadow I'm taking 21 again and I'm just blending out the edges so that there is no harshness and there is a smooth transition. I'm not taking a lot of product, I'm just taking a little bit of product and I'm just blending it. After that I will finish my face makeup then I will return to finish my eye makeup again. For that I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer and I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck. I exfoliated as well as moisturized my face half an hour ago. Now I'm using these two color characters from LA Girl. This is the yellow and orange character and I'm just applying it under my eyes, around my mouth and wherever I have acne spots and pigmentation. Now for a bridal makeup, color correcting is really important, otherwise your foundation, your concealer may look little greyish in color and we do not want that. Now I'm just blending everything with the same damp beauty sponge. Now with these color characters, you do not have to set it with a loose powder because they set pretty quickly and you do not have to set it with a powder. Now for my foundation, I'm using this Maybelline Dream Satin Foundation in the shade Pure Beige and I'm going to blend it with the same damn beauty sponge. Now the product names and their shades, everything will be mentioned in the description bar below, so please do check that out. Now for highlighting and for concealing, I'm using the same Elegal Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige and I'm just highlighting the high points of my face like my under eyes, chin, cupid bow, bridge of my nose and the center of my forehead. And then again I will be blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge. I always like to blend out my under eye concealer later because this way I feel like it gets some time to settle down and it gives better coverage. Now I'm just setting my under eyes using the same loose powder and for that I'm using this e.l.f. highlighting brush. This brush has the softest bristles ever so there is no chance that you will get any bristle marks or anything like that. No, you won't have that. 
now i'm just cream contouring my face using this wet and wild contour stick in the shade where is walnut now cream contouring is again really important because powder contour may fade away like one or two hours later but if you do a cream contouring your contour will last all day all night I'm also contouring my nose and then again I will be blending it out using the same damp beauty sponge. Now while blending your contour, try to you blend out your forehead contour and your cheeks in an upward direction and your jawline in a downward direction. This way your face will look more chiseled. I'm blending my nose contour using my finger because this way I feel like I have more control and I feel like I won't mess up. Now I'm just setting my entire face using the same powder and for that I'm using this Equate large powder brush. This brush is amazing. Now for my eyes. First, I'm applying a tons of powder underneath my eyes so that if there is any fallout, it can catch that fallout and I can dust it off later. And also, it will bake my under eyes so that my concealer is not creasing. Now, I'm just applying this Jordan Isline eyeliner pencil in the shade black and I'm applying it on my waterline as well as I'm tight lining with it. Now I'm taking the black eyeshadow and I'm just applying it under my lower lash line and it will give an illusion of bigger and wider eyes. Now I'm taking 21 again and I'm just applying it under the black eyeshadow so that the look is put together and I'm lining my lids using this NYX eyeliner and I'm just creating a wing here it's a little bit tricky to apply eyeliner over glitter but you know you have to be patient Now I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with this Wet and Wild Mega Length Mascara. Now I'm using the Wet and Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Petals and I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners. I'm just dusting off the excess powder and for my falsies I'm going to use this Ardell Double Up Lashes in this style 207 and here is the final eye look. I am loving it. Trust me guys I'm literally loving it. Now coming back to my face makeup. First I'm taking the contour shade from my Maybelline Master Contour Palette and I'm just contouring slash bronzing up my face now I'm taking the blush from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my cheeks to have that nice flush of color I'm using the same Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Precious Petals and with this fan brush I'm just applying it on the high points of my face like my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, bridge of my nose as well as the sides of my forehead. Now a bride should have a nice highlighter because it's all about the glow you know so yeah 
a highlighter is a must Now for my lips first I'm lining my lips using this Milani lip liner in the shade 12. Again a lip liner is a must. Now I'm taking this Milani Amour matte lipstick in the shade gorgeous and this is a gorgeous color this is a deep magenta pink color and i think this lipstick is perfect for this eye look i'm just setting my makeup using this l'oreal makeup setting spray or makeup extender and here is the complete look please let me know your thoughts about this look and if you have any video request then feel free to comment down below i'll be more than happy to make it for you and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please do check that out so see you soon in my next video till then bye and take care